Hi Libra, welcome to your love reading for August 15th through the 31st, 2019. This is a collective reading, so if it doesn't resonate with you, please check out your moon and rising signs. In the meantime, I'm going to ask God, the Holy Spirit, angels, archangels, and our guides to thank you for blessing these cards with love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you also for giving us clarification, confirmation, and validation uh, in the stories that you tell us through these cards. Okay, guys, we are going to start with uh, your overall energy, like where you've been in your energy levels in regard to love in the recent past, where you are now, and where you're headed. Okay? Show us clearly in regard to love for Libra. Where have they been recently um, and way that, where they are now and where are they headed? We thank you for clear and concise messages and confirmation, validation, and clarification. Okay. So recently, wow, financial and material changes. You've had some financial and material changes. This is the same as the uh, five of pentacles so perhaps you are recently going through a divorce perhaps you have recently uh, just split the sheets with somebody that you were living with um, but something has changed and you're feeling a little bit left out in the cold recently okay currently you're in a state of patience or they're asking you to be in a state of patience that's where you're at currently and this is all in regard to love <laughs> and in the near future you have fertility and this is um, the same as the Empress and the Empress is somebody who uh, has the ability to create something new to uh, to birth new realities into her life okay so Libra let's see what's going on with you um, get some clarification on this stuff and see where you're headed okay in regard to this financial and material change in regard to love for Libra in the placement of recent past please show us clearly what it is you're you're talking about clarify for us what's going on here what did go on here okay show us clearly financial and material changes in the recent past in regard to love with Libra okay things things took off fast whatever happened uh, it's like it came out of nowhere and perhaps there was a change in in your address uh, as a result of that perhaps there was a change in your heart or in your mental space because of that, but something came out of nowhere and it changed everything. And we've got the three of water, which is actually a celebration. So perhaps um, this is something that you were, were looking for, that perhaps you were in a, in a relationship where you, know, you weren't necessarily quite comfortable and you knew you needed to make a change, but you didn't really feel like you had the strength to do it because um, you were comfortable in your life with your uh, surroundings, your material surroundings, uh, the security of, of that other person's income and stuff like that. But something just wasn't right. So you finally made the step to, to change that. And now you are, are then, and you celebrated yourself. Things happened pretty fast. It was like you knew it, you knew it, you knew it for a long time. You felt that this is what you needed to do and whenever you finally made that decision you made it fast uh, and then like I said now uh, after that you began to celebrate you for doing what was right for you um, eight of water yeah you decided to move on okay you decided to move toward something that was better um, suited for you and you just decide you were worth it. So you left, you were out there. And like I said, you, you ended up celebrating it. But it did change things substantially for you uh, in your material world. So we'll see what uh, is going on now. You're getting the card of patience. And let's see, what do you have to say about patience in the 
current placement as far as Libra is concerned in regard to love. Let's see, what are, what are they saying? You, This is where you are currently, in the state of patience. Okay. Why is Libra being so patient currently in regard to love for August 15th through 31st? <laughs> you have the page of water. Okay, so this tells me that you are in love with being in love. You have a childlike idea about it and you um and you think it should be uh easy you think it should be free flowing you think it should be exciting and all those things and you know what love is that way love should be that way uh i'm not saying you would never have a fight or anything but it's not something where anybody should make you feel less than who you are nor is it a situation where anybody should try to change you from who you are so this is this is your mindset that you know in your heart there's a happily ever after for you and you're willing to be patient to wait for it to come to you okay I'm getting the nine of earth so it's telling me that you have either gotten back on your feet already or are well on your way to getting back on your feet in regard to those financial and material changes perhaps you have uh, Perhaps you did move and you have gotten a really good job where you are and you know you're going to be okay. Uh, those are just ideas, scenarios. You know what's going on with you, Libra. But this is something to do with that, that you are no longer feeling like your life is so devastated by this change. That one thing that kept you there longer than you uh, likely wanted to be there. But you have, you've gotten out, you're feeling very independent, you're feeling like you're going to be able to handle this, not only financially, but your material world around you. And you're being with your, and you're being patient with yourself in regard to uh, figuring out what it is that you want for life, in life, okay? In regard to love, this is a very poised, very um, confident woman, and she's very connected to spirit and she's she's connected to becoming the best her that she could possibly be and I'm saying her again this is not gender specific but it's because it's a woman on the card I'm saying her but so she's connected to becoming the best version of her that she can become uh, spiritually as well as in the material world or physical world so you're being very patient with yourself in all these aspects it's like you are currently uh, you've taken a pause and you are figuring out for you what it is that's going to work for you what it is that you want it, it looks like the main thing you're doing is uh, is loving you right now and that is a great place to be Libra it really is um, you you were you did you did a good thing whenever you left someplace where you weren't feeling um, whole. Okay, fertility is your where you're headed in regard to love. I've got the five of air. Um, in the traditional tarot, this is the five of swords. Like there's conflict all around, but in this deck. If you, I see no conflict here. I see a woman, again, I'm saying woman, it's not gender specific, but I'm seeing a woman who is gracefully navigating, uh, dancing through the so-called conflict. Um, she has tampered down, see these, these feathers? No, they're actually birds, okay? She has, and normally birds fly above us, okay? So, Think about that. Air has to do with communication and, and mental things. And that, that usually all hovers above us. And so the birds would normally be above us. But she has risen above all that. She has tampered down all of the thoughts and all of the mind games that she had been playing with herself for years that now she is in control of and she's on top of it. And she's done it gracefully. So that's where you're headed. I mean, you're, you're doing exactly the right thing right now, it looks like, because you're going to be birthing something beautiful because you've taken control of, of the, 
the ego or you know what's supposed to be how life was supposed to happen what everybody thinks you're supposed to do with your life all those things of the supposed to's and the societal norms and all that stuff you're you're saying no 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 you're going to do it your way and you're going to do it gracefully and and you you're you're tampering it all down. You're getting on top of it. Okay? <sighs> the star. Okay, this is the, the star is, uh, you are the star. Okay, so you're creating your reality. You're creating your best self. And you're moving into a place where not only do you have your own ideas about, about how things should be right now, but you're moving into a place where you're going to create that. And she does it by standing under the light, you know, keeping her guiding light as her main source of guidance, but also by, see this little vessel she's got in her um, arm right there? And to me, when I look at that, I see somebody who is, it's like she's cradling herself, again, not gender specific, but cradling herself and her core values and her core beliefs about who she really is. And she's She's taking care of herself as if she was taking care of an infant, giving that unconditional love to herself, and she deserves it, or he deserves it. Um, this person understands that loving themselves is the most important thing because until they love themselves truly and completely, and your first action or your first uh, statement to the universe about loving yourself was leaving the situation where you were feeling left out in the cold, okay? So so here you are now, or in the near future, you've tampered down these mind games, and you're really nurturing yourself, okay? You are, you are rebirthing yourself. And then we've got the three of air. So the three of air is very... Um, it's the same as the Three of Swords. And in the Three of Swords, it's all about heartache. But in this in this situation, and possibly there was a third party in that other situation. I'm looking back at the previous things that happened. Perhaps there was a third party in that situation. But in this situation, she has turned her back on, on that. She has walked forward away from that. And she's got the one bird back there on her wings. But again, it's, it's symbolic of her taking care of her she's not turned around fighting for something that no longer serves her she's no longer turned around trying to control it and make it what she thought it was supposed to be and all of that other stuff she has turned her back on it and and she is very very uh if you look at this I, let me put my glasses on for one second because i really think i remember something about this picture yeah so she is, she's got her arm up over her chest like this. She's guarding her heart, okay? So there's a, a scripture in the Bible that I absolutely love, and it says, guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. When we expose our heart and leave our heart exposed to somebody who mistreats it, um, we continue to get issues in our life that allow more of that. But whenever we guard our heart, Okay, and I'm not talking about guarding it forever because you want to allow it to be open to receive love. But right now is a good time to continue to guard your heart uh, with all diligence because you know that it's time to keep doing this right here. Okay, keep staying on top of the mind games, keep nurturing yourself the way you deserve to be nurtured because your heart is so important because out of it will determine what happens next in your life in regard to love. So whenever you mend this heart and you heal this heart to the point that it's whole again, then you can expose it or let it be vulnerable to let love back in again. But right now it looks like you're you are uh, you're being patient with yourself right now and figuring it all out, but it looks like you're moving towards a total healing from this other situation. And that's a great place to be, Libra. Okay, uh, we're going to do a P.S. real quick from the universe. What is your overall summary of this reading? And uh, 
yeah just a little extra I'm looking at this you know where you are now and you like I said you've got the page of water you've got the nine of earth and the queen of fire so you know you it's good that you've come out of that situation and you're still in love with the idea of being in love you know it exists you know it exists and you know you deserve it it looks like you've come out and you've gotten yourself back on your feet financially and that's a great place to be and you're realizing that you your your best self is the best thing that you can work on now and it looks like you're headed that way to do something really spectacular for yourself Libra okay PS <laughs> rebirth it's time for this is judgment it, this is your this is your time to rebirth yourself and start over and do it your way okay and I don't mean do it your way as in tell everybody what they have to do I mean do it your way as in you take care of you and you do you Libra because guess what you're worthy of uh, of, of the judgment that you want in your life okay I also have ten of swords you're done with the pain you're absolutely this uh, the ten is a, a the cycle of completion or this the cycle is complete you're done with that and you're ready to put all that behind you and move on and uh, and start a new chapter in your life and that's where you're that's where you're at and this is the three of Pentacles and this is about collaboration and following your passions and things like that and and right now in regard to what the cards are showing as far as your future you're you're being pretty passionate about who you are and what you deserve and that is beautiful okay Libra so that was your reading for August 15th through the 31st of 2019. Kudos to you. Choosing yourself is like the hardest thing to do. Um, so kudos to you. Good luck on your journey. I'd love to hear about it uh, in the comments if you have a minute. Please hit like, subscribe, and the little bell thingy. And until then, uh, we will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.